Oh boy, it's time to play Doki Doki once more. I hope nothing bad's going to happen. <laughs> ah. Okay, so uh Hello guys. Welcome back with me again, Ordinary. And we are gonna continue playing Doki Doki Literature Club. So last episode, I almost died. Yeah, uh I'm just gonna leave that there. Go watch yourself, please. <laughs> it's actually really hard to play this, you know, like uh, I need to prepare myself. Uh, I don't want to stretch it for too long, so let's just continue then. So now, uh, once again, we're gonna try to impress Natsuki. So, milk, pink. Yeah, the usual. Oof. <laughs> lollipop. I like lollipop. Love. Vanilla. Bunny. Color. Bliss. Silly. Uh, playground. Kisu. Sparkle. Puppy. Joy. Oh no. <laughs> I almost get 100%. <laughs> Charm. Bubbles. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, it's big enough. You know, like, literally just like random uh, symbol and letters on the screen. And I. It. Are it. Enough to give me chills. Perfect. Vacation. Fault. Oh fuck! Okay. Uh I played this game before. And I think this is the first time I see that jump scare ever. Let's just continue, okay? Oh, hello Sayori. I miss you. Another day passed, and it's time for the club meeting our lady. Okay, uh, if I sound far away, I'm sorry because I kinda back... <laughs> back down a bit. <laughs> I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome back, Kochi, ya? Ah, oh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the wake of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, uh. Yuri glanced over her shoulders, looking down the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arms and pulls me to the corner of the room. Uh, about yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before and something just came over me I guess I wasn't acting mentally sound it's okay we all we all know Yuri <laughs> we all know <laughs> I still love you please don't think we are we are usually like this not just me but Natsuki as well 
Yuri. I'm happy that you are considerate and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. I already know something was off since the beginning. <laughs> Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, I didn't make uh, it didn't make make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there is no way you can be a bad person. Oh, are you sure about that, Kochia? You sure? <laughs> And now that you are apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Kochiya, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you are such an understanding person. And. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah! Oh fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, I, I got little jump scare because you reached an expression. Oh, I'm already... On my edge of my seat now. Oh fuck. Uh, sorry. What am I saying right now? I just. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. That. Mm. Okay. That first jump scare we experienced today already gave me so much edge. Now, like, any little movement can startle me. Fuck. How, how am I gonna survive? Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, ah. No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Silence. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Sil another silence. What? <coughs> Excuse me? What? I don't, I, I forgot Natsuki voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot what Natsuki voice I gave to her, I'm sorry. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, uh... Natsuki, about yesterday. I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And... I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? So yeah, uh... Natsuki forgot everything. Because I remember yesterday. Monica said that, uh... Natsuki will forget everything tomorrow. <laughs> so it's... It's Monica's fault, okay? Jeez. Fuck. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. So, uh, what I know that the this type of text, the letters with, uh, you know, like big black glow around it, it's something that they they are thinking in their minds. I guess, but I'm sure of it. I don't even remember anything bad happening. 
You're just, uh, you're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Triple dot. Uh, but, but. Oh fucking hell! What the hell is? <laughs> oh my god! I cannot. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? <sighs> I don't remember at all. The jump scare. I don't remember at all. I am not sure I seen that before or not. But I'm. I cannot trust myself. I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna die. Okay. I'll, I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, that smile is really cute. Very bright smile. You know, all I know that uh, despite like. Everyone has dark secret. Nasuki is the most honest one. She always straightforward to say what she thinks about the others and stuff. And sometimes she gets shit because of it. But Hana says she's honest. I like Hana's person, to be honest. Even though they have something they don't want to say, but in general they uh they are honest. You know what I'm saying? I like this type of person. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Triple dot. Nasuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. <laughs> hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Jesus. Oh. Sorry. I I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> Cute. Ah. <laughs> What took you so long anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ahaha. <laughs> Signature word from Monica. That makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing pa piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you play music as well, Monica. Perfect girl, as usual. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. <laughs> what if Monica just create a piano club instead of literature club? What's gonna happen? <laughs> I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, well thanks Yuri. You should play something for us some sometime. Ahaha, that's... Monica looks at me. Jesus. I'm sorry if I'm I'm really on my edge now. And I need to pee, so <laughs> this is dangerous. Well, 
I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit, I will. Uh, I mean, maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Kochiya. To be honest, uh, yeah, you, you didn't let me down. The game is really good. I really love this game. Fuck me! Oh! I, I'm so scared now. Even like the small movement can startle me. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah ha ha, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not. Not really. I just not to bring up anything that the three of us talk about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Kochiya? Uh, since your compliment puts me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Wait. Ah, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine? She's reading over there, see? Ooh, don't think about her so much. Oh, that's rude. That's rude, man. <laughs> she used to be being, she used to being ignored. Come on, we are going over there. Jesus, fuck! What's the that? Wait, I'm sure I picked Natsuki, right? Yeah, I'm sure because I said before that uh, I only miss one, so all the night is Natsuki. Wait, what's going on? What's the story about anyway? Well, yeah, it, this is the dialogue where we, if you want to get Yuri Shiji, right? Well, uh. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Okay, honestly, uh, I'm gonna go for a while because I really need to pee and I don't want to piss myself by playing game, okay? So, be right back, folks. Alright, I'm back. Uh, let's continue then. There is an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Basically, it's about the, this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Sounds fun. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machine that lasts for blood. Sounds exciting. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Uh, oh, 
that they might be a little bit of a spoiler. Really? You spoiled me? Okay. The experience is ruined now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not to think about the limbs. <laughs> Your expression says otherwise, Yuri. Th that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah... Are you not a fan of that sort of things, Kochiya? No, uh, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. Honestly, I like dark stories. It's fun. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside. But her mind seems to be completely different. It's just th that this kind of story is the kind of that challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. What if uh, everything in this world is just a visual novel? And I'm just an NPC. <laughs> what uh, when horrible things happen? Not just because someone wants to be evil. But because the world is full of horrible people. And we are all worthless anyway. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Yuri lives in society. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. <coughs> I am because you fucking spoils me, Yuri. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. Honestly, I, I, I got an interest. Maybe one day if Dan Salvato write uh, the book, you know, I forgot the name, blah 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 Tarkov. I'm probably gonna read it. That sounds interesting. I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. What the fuck is that? I kinda forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. But that's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just mean you are passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's literature club, after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. That makes me hot, Kochiya-san. <laughs> I'm sorry. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right. I'm sorry. I, I make as well get started reading it, right? Fuck! Don't do that, please. Don't do that. No, you, 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 you you're gonna do this. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god.
The fuck is that? Yes! I mean, you don't have to, but... Aha! What are you saying? Triple dot? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Okay, I am at one at the point where I I am getting so scared to click, and my head uh, and I start backing down before I click something. Okay, so I'm sorry if the you know if I sounds like far away. Okay, give me a break. I slip into the seat next to Yuris. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem little apprehensive. That's... Uh, that's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is... Reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Okay, nobody, nobody's beside me. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. I, I wish it was comforting, okay? I wish. I think I, I hurt my throat. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh fuck! S sorry! What? What the fuck are you saying? Yuri, you really apolog apologizing a lot, don't you? I do? I... I don't really mean to. Sorry. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck. I can't. I can't. I'm so... <laughs> I really want to end this video right here, but... No. You can do this. At least finish this day. Honestly, this, this video is gonna be really uh, shorter than before because I don't think I can finish two days. I mean... Ahaha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah... Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closed her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn pages. To turn page. To turn the page. Damn it! Here! Oh, that's cute. Yuri takes her left arm and hold, holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah! I do, seem, uh, I do the same with my right arm, 
on the right side of the book. You know, I never say it, but uh, Yuri's hair is really beautiful. It looks so silky. I want to touch it. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slide it under the thumb, and um, under her thumb, after it flips to the to her side. But in holding it like this, we are huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Uh, are you ready? Eh? Turn the page. Ah, semi <laughs> I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Okay. Ordinary, don't get, don't, don't get, uh, don't let your guard down, okay? Don't let the game jump scare you over and over again. Okay? Thank you. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over a Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You are not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if I if it takes you a bit longer. How about three weeks? How about I read this three weeks later? Okay, I cannot. <laughs> I really can't. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I am ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own for politician. Wait, politician? Wait, volition. Okay, volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Okay, sorry if I cannot read that word because uh, my my eyes is getting out of focus now. My head feel like. Even so, turning each page almost feel feels like an intimate exchange. It's almost like hand holding, you know. My thumb gently get uh get. Gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be silly though, but... The main character kinds of remind me of you a little bit. What is that expression, Yuri? Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? You sure, Yuri? <laughs> you look sweaty. I bet your sweat tastes sweet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was just thinking the way she second guessing things she say and all that. Ah. That's what you were talking about. Uh, sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Uh, never mind. We didn't get. Uh, we didn't even get that far yet. Ooh, spoiler. So I don't know why that came into my head. Maybe, probably because maybe you also related yourself with the character in the book. Maybe, just maybe, okay. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri 
Yuri's been a little fidgety even since we start reading. You can rest if you you are really uh, if you are feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing. Yuri puts her hands on her chest, as if to feel her heart, as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Waifu material right there. Stay hydrated, folks. Don't forget to drink water. Pause this game. Uh, pause this video whenever you want and drink water. Maybe subscribe. <laughs> Seriously, uh, subscribe and support my channel. Thank you very much. All right. Don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Oh, I see. I see. What on earth was that about? Kochiya? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. For real, she... Monica doesn't really care about Yuri. <laughs> I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. You, you mean by X16? No, nothing. Aha, don't worry, I believe you. Baka, <laughs> silly, you silly kochia. Muchu muchu. <laughs> Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figure we get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, I was just... Uh, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in, in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Okay, ah, uh, fuck. I don't know what happened with my bladder, but I really need to pee again. So, I'm gonna take a short break once again. Alright, I'm back. Uh, so it's poem reading time. I have bad feeling because I'm sure I picked uh, Natsuki. But let's go then. Huh? Well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Really? Then again, if it's if this the one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Oh fuck. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. Oh, I'm sorry, Natsuki. So, it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, 
You should at least look over my poem. You probably, you'll probably be able to learn something from it. Fuck no! What the fuck is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! I cannot click more. I know something's gonna happen. I'm sure something's gonna happen. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm so scared Okay, I'm gonna back down if I'm if my voice sounds too quiet. I'm so sorry <sighs> Okay, let's go What yeah Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I'm sorry, that's, that's actually yes. I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Fuck, 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 what the hell? Pretty sick freak. This will be obvious by now. What the fuck? So just let me start. Okay. You don't have me Kochia, don't you? Fuck! What the hell is this? What's this bleeding? Don't read that for me! Don't ruin it! Please! Just stop talking to Yuri! It's all I have. Play with me. Ah! 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 My chest hurt. My chest actually hurt. Fuck. What the fuck was that? Okay, uh... I see the, you know, that... Natsuki breaking her neck picture. You know? I seen it. But... I didn't expect her to just jump, like run straight into the mi the monitor. Okay, I was not ready. If you don't know, uh, I actually fell from my chair. It hurts, and now my chest is really hurt now. Fuck. I can. I, I really can. You see what happened? How am I gonna sleep tonight? Fuck, I need to pee again. Shit. You know what? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep going and. 
I'm just gonna keep going until the last minute. Okay. I'm gonna finish this day. Come on. I'm slapping my ass. I know I can do this. We're gonna have a group hug in the shower after this. Maybe cry together. Okay, Monica. Hi again, Kochi, yeah? How's the writing going? I wonder. I fucking wonder. Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not being bad, going bad. <sighs> just kill me, man. Just, just kill me, Monica. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Maybe. Ahaha. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Triple dot. Alright. Good job, Kochia. I was going to... Uh, I was going oh in my head while reading this. It, it's really metaphorical. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess un I underestimate you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's exception low. That way, it's always count counts when I put in some efforts. Ahaha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Do you think it, do you think life is fair, Monica? Well, I guess it worked. Anyway, you know that you really likes that kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel you like Yuri's mind. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she she's just t totally given up on people. Damn. She spent so much time in her own head. That it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when she treat her with uh when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. So them don't blame her. So don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly, the doors open. The door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Oh, you missed a lot, Yuri. You know, like Natsuki fucking freaking out and almost died. I'm sure. Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. Did I smell iron in you, Yuri? That's a nice parfum you have. <laughs> no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get uh, I should go get my poem now. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? 
please don't mess up, mess me up, Monica. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful shoulders, flash, mm, expand, piercing, RGB, red, green, blue, and endless. Cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Viol violent grating with whiff, mis squeak, screeching, piercing, sin cost <laughs> like play chuck on a rubble, like playing a knife on a breathing reef cage. And this of mindless delete her <sighs> please don't do Natsuki to me again I have I had enough now I really have my feel okay okay it's not really that bad okay and I I prepare myself so sorry I know it's kind of abstract I'm just trying to uh well never mind there's no point in explaining the Monica's break it is breaking character just like me I have we have something in common anyway here's Monica writing tip of the day Sometimes you'll find yourself fast facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You know that's what work in this game. This game don't let your save file, it doesn't matter. You never know when. Um Why am I talking to? Fuck me. Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Well, uh, I cannot hear you, but because I I narrate your talking. Hopefully, I can hear you. Anything? Fuck me! Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, fuck! That's not really that bad. So next is Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you're fretting for today. Triple dot. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Huh? I'm sorry. Ah, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Some men call this junk. Me? I call them treasure. <laughs> no, no, don't let your gut down, okay? You suffer enough, ordinary. Ah, that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I brought. You don't have to like it or anything. Will. Oh my god, there is no music. A rotating wheel turning an axle grinding. Okay, I cannot read this and I don't bother. It's so hard. Falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dog ship. It's not even a poem. What the hell? It's just random word that comes in the mind. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to the thick rope. 
breathing will fuck please don't scare me okay i i have my feel i, I I'm, i'm ready full okay i'm begging out now <sighs> okay i'm ready nothing so far ah ha ha it doesn't really matter what it's about my man has been little hyperactive lately so i had to take it out on your pen ah that's a pen fell out of your backpack yes yesterday so i took it home for safekeeping and i um i just really like the way that it writes so i wrote this poem with it and now you're touching it oh no is it is this getting turned on now ah ha 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 i'm okay oh, what did i just triple dot fuck can we pretend this conversation never happened yes please yes please you can keep the poem though Oh fuck me, another secret special poem, I mean. We have another special poem. Yes, please. Let's let's just torture torture me more. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Nothing is real. Oh my god, the, this poem make me so dizzy. The hell? It it looks like the oh my god. Fuck! I I I out of cop focus. Ah. I heard something in my room. It feels like that illusion thing. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck, what happened? Oh my god, what happened with my mouse? Monica? Get that fucking away from me! Okay, everyone. Well done reading for each other poems, right? We have something... Oh my god, thank you. We have something we need to go over today. So, if everyone could come sit at the front of the room is this about the festival oh thank you natsuki for being normal well sort of ah do we really need have to do something for the festival it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting away Uh, getting any new members that's concern me that, uh, that's a concern of mine as well I don't really do well with last minute preparation don't worry so much we are going to keep it simple okay look mite mite <laughs> no 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 I know everyone's being a little more lively ever since Gonchia joined and we started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to be uh, to become comp complacent. Is that how you say it? We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know. What's so great about getting new member anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official official club. More member will just mean everything gets noisier and even more difficult to manage. That's okay. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. 
Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling you that brought you here in the first place? The, lit- the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. Well, judging from their expression, I don't think they are. They are. They are or they do I mean fuck whatever so that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival even if it's something small right Kochia ah uh, oh come on you can take advantage of Kochia to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything I wish I have a choice, Natsuki. I wish I have a choice. What is free of wi- uh what is free will anyway? Fuck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry for yelling, okay? Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? You didn't ever even talk until Kochia joined. That's interesting. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Kochia even isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's a lie, okay? I'm passionate. Okay, you're right. I'm not passionate in literature. It's not my cup of tea. But I'm passionate in this fucking game. I will finish this game even if the last thing I ever do. Okay? I have. I come here willingly with a reason and I will I will end it I will finish this I'm sorry and that's everyone sorry but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members the rest of us are fine like this I know you're president and all but You should really consider our opinion for once. Oh. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's word. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's not true at all. I'm sure you, Yuri and Kochia want to get more members too. Right? Triple dot. So was I, or something. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I show as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would prob- probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Nasuki strike, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Oh. You know, I feel bad. I'm sure not uh, Monica is really passionate in literature. It's just no one else. We will get the good ending, Monica. We will get it. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. I think I, I already read that. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we are against getting new members or anything. Kochia, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well. That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Yeah, I don't really get a choice. 
You just force me, Monica. You just realize that. Just give me a more option, okay? Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? It's the torture chamber for me. I willingly come to here to torture myself, okay? Because I'm a fucking tank man, and I apparently I'm a masochist. So this place has a purpose. Don't, uh, don't underestimate it. You know, don't understatement it. What is starting this club? What was a mistake? <sighs> now you doubt it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. It's a, is it a crime to be honest? No. I'll, I'll Hannah's first person. It, it's not about being honest. It's about more choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want, want a place that feels like to... Uh, I'm sorry. I just want a place that feels nice to hang out. With a few friends. Is there a problem with a club being that for me? There aren't. There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take away, take it away from me. Ugh. She's not taking that away. I mean, fuck! I'm start reading something that aren't in the text. I am already lost focus now. She's not taking anything away. No, Kochia. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. Maybe any anime club. But this one, I mean... At least, for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Yeah. You know, looking at Sayori's postrait behind, yeah. Things used to be nice. What the fuck happened? Natsuki start packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Triple dot? This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well? Do you have any... Uh, do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent. I guess. Oh fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Who cares about that obnoxious bread? I cough my. Oh fuck! I let myself guard down. Oh my god, I was so relaxed with the music and stuff, I forgot about the jump scare. Ugh. Don't suffer to you did that again. What the fuck? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with your with you here. But still. I'm the vice president. Fuck. Okay, okay. Prepare for the wars. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Fucking hell. Nobody will cry if she. That's mean. Don't say that. Don't say that, Yuri. Okay, I remember that part. 
I remember that part when I first played through, so... It's not really spook me. <laughs> you think I'm gonna spook at every jump scare? No, no. This is Mark. That I'm not that pussy. I'm still a fucking pussy. I should do my, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that that's right for the club. But what about you, Kochia? What do you want to get out of this club? I want to get out of here as soon as I can, okay? Please just end me. Yuri repents the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. Literature Club is already sp has a special place in my heart, deep down in my subconscious nightmares. I see. I really agree with you. Did you start bleeding? What the fuck? Its member contributes their own qualities in special in a special way. With each change in member, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. I did know. I, I rarely play horror games. And this is one of the few horror games I actually play and actually finish. I never actually play Slenderman, if you want to know. Because I was so scared playing Slenderman. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri not. Jesus, not Monica, please. Hey Yuri. Eh? Uh, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But, I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you are, wo you are a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. Monica? I want to do everything I can do to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Oh, it's almost over. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Kochia? Um, please don't take it. Please don't take this the wrong way. But I'm going to chat a little bit with Kochia before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Ooh. Using your power, huh? Using your position, Monica? <laughs> I'm kidding. Triple dot? Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. Well, what the fuck is supposed to mean, Yuri? In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! So, this is only three of us now. Me, you, and Sayuri at the background. She will keep watching us. Phew! 
things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Kochia, yeah? I just want to know. Uh, I, I just want to make sure you are enjoying your time at this club. I would really. What happened to the background? I would really had to see you ha unhappy. Fuck! Please don't do this to me. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that, as president. Music gun, fuck me. And I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Fuck me. Ahaha. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Yeah, I know Monica, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I, I really know. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we hardly got to spend any time together. Ah, I mean... I guess it's technically been only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Fuck what happened? There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. <coughs> I'm sorry. Things I know only you could understand. <coughs> I think I hurt my throat. Fuck. So that's why. Uh, wait. Everything's double do is fun for the pain. 